Hi and welcome to Roadroid. Um, we're going to give you a short pitch of how the system works, how you fit the device um, and start capturing data. Uh, Roadroid is a tool for road engineers to measure uh, road conditions, roughness, capturing media as photos and video of the road. So after uh, fixing the mount in a suitable location, uh, the location is sort of, of importance. Um, so if you fasten the the mount in the middle of the car, it will pick up more of an average from the two wheel pairs, uh, right respectively left, uh, while you fit it on the side, it will pick up more of the left or the right uh, feedback from the road. Uh, middle is more convenient for low volume roads or, or uh, unpaved roads, as the side mount will give a more uh, drastic effect of that uh, side. So. After connecting the phone to its mount, uh, you start the app uh, by pressing the app button. Uh, there are some precautions uh, in the app and you shouldn't first of all uh, not operate uh, the app while driving the car. So stand still, make your settings, start your survey and before stopping the survey make sure to, to stop the car as well. And there is a user guide at our homepage. Please use and advise that before start surveying. Um, a third point is to use a stable mount. It was said while uh, while mounting the, the holder. This magnetic one is a good example. Uh, there's also some information about the current app versions as we do um, we do update them now and then. So at this point you could start fitting um, the vertical alignment of the app. So you make sure to capture the, the vertical vibrations. And um, after that, you're basically ready to go, start serving. Um, before that, I'll show you that you have a menu where you can do some settings. There's a survey and preset, presets menu, where you can adjust the sensitivity of the app. Uh, this is essential to, to read actually in the user guide before, uh, to how to make this calibration event. Um, you can set the sensitivity to more or less sensitive but, but before starting using that you should have an idea of how it's affect the output and how are you going to use it in, in practice but at least it's it's available and, and I would recommend to use the user guide more throughout before starting using that Ja, jag vet inte om vi ska ta en till mätning. And there are some bumps here on the road and you can immediately see that the, the feedback to the system is um, indicated by this colored bar. Uh, to stop serving, uh, an important note is that all of the settings or, or starting and stopping of serving should be done standing with the car still and not driving, not while driving. So now the uh, survey is stopped. So basically it was now um, every data that's recorded, it's stored on the phone, uh, the survey file and the images and waiting to be uploaded. Do the upload, you get back to this menu, you press here and you start uploading <clears throat> so what you see there happening in the background now is the uh, the phone uploading all of the the survey files we captured. In this case, uh, it, it was some data captured since before. So it's starting with uploading all of the data files and continuing with the media files. So first the uh, captured survey data, uh, quite small in size, and then uh, capturing the transferring the images one by one. So you can see here also by the images, they're like two, two, maybe two to three megabytes large uh, each file transferred.